Hello, Focus Forum fans. Martin Keown and James Beattie are here to talk about Wednesday's games, or today's games. You're probably watching this on Wednesday um, because we have Arsenal against Monaco. We've also got Bayer Leverkusen against Atletico Madrid. You can listen to those matches and coverage of those on Five Live tonight. But I know you love talking about Arsenal. Martin, so... Really? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he used to play up for Arsenal, by the way, did yeah. you know? No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> a lot of Arsenal fans thinking I'm biased now after my commentary in the, uh, with Manchester United. Or well, anti-Arsenal? Yes, yes, can you believe that? But anyway, uh, we, we, that, no, I'll have, my, I'll, I'll have my Arsenal hat on, <laughs> of course, against Monaco. Um, I think a proud night for Arsene Wenger. You know, they come over, they see what he's achieved. I mean, pretty well that club, the, mm. the new stadium, the training ground, is all about Arsenal. Arsene Wenger's dream really is coming true and the dream will be to beat... Monaco, it was, a, it was a dream draw, let's be, let's be fair. Arsenal had terrible draws in recent years, Bayern Munich twice, AC Milan Barcelona. and Barcelona. So they've been knocked out at this stage. And this, I feel the squad for Arsenal is starting to come together. Jack Wilshere now coming back from, from injury, just another one to add to that group. Ozil playing really well. Uh, Sanchez um, was at the training ground this week and it was a day off for, for most of the players. It was a day off for him, but he came in to train. He's, his attitude is infectious at the football club. Mm. So I feel Arsenal could, uh, could be a surprise package. I think they'll certainly get through this one. How do you assess that squad? I mean, Martin, been at the training ground, he's, he's had a look at the players as well. But from, from I suppose, the, the outsider looking in, have they got enough in that squad, if they're fully fit, to, to really challenge, to, to try and win this tournament this season? I think, yeah, you, you said the all-important phrase there, if, if everybody's fit. I think the, the players that they do have sidelined at the moment are very influential players and I think they just need to try and get them fit one by one and then keep them fit and then I think they've got a you know a hell of a chance. And it comes back to the manager. He's got to pick his best 11 and it's, a, it's the first time in a long time that I'm not sure who that best 11 is. And that's when the manager earns that big fat pay packet that he gets. <laughs> pick the best 11, that's key. And then I think Arsenal could go and be successful. Yeah. Whether this Gabriel now is one at the back, mm. is he going to come in, in for, instead of Metasaka? You know, there's... Could be a changing of the guard at the back. And bit by bit, this jigsaw puzzle comes together for Arsene Wenger. Those who watched uh, Football Focus on Saturday, we, know we talked about uh, Monaco as well. We heard from um, Ricardo Carvalho, had a look at Dimitar Berbatov as well. And, and, and we, we mentioned the fact that they have been a club, James, who've really been affected by financial fair play because, well, one of the reasons is that their average gates is only just over 7,000. So they are struggling to, to do what they've done in the past and bring in those superstar names on huge wages and, and big budgets. Yeah, of course. And uh, I think it shows with the players that, that have exited there. Um, I think in, in that first period where they, where they did sign all them players, everybody was thinking, you know, who's, who's this Russian owner? He was splashing the cash right, left and centre. And uh, they've broken the rules and now they're, they're paying the price for it. Well, those days seem to be gone, don't they? I mean, you look at the club that you were at, Blackburn, Jack Walker, rolled the dice, you know, threw that money in. On the one hand, yes, long term, I think this financial fair play is a good thing, but you, you get the odd occasion when, you know, it can completely change the face of football. That can't happen anymore because it's about making yeah, sure that you're getting the figures right. Yeah. Just to clarify, you don't hate Arsenal. <laughs> I don't hate Arsenal. Did I say I hate Arsenal? No, 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 no. no <laughs> you said you were getting a bit of grief from Arsenal fans for your... I just felt that I was a little <laughs> bit protective towards Wayne Rooney and that he saying that he didn't die. <laughs> OK. When I said he did die. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm not sure you cleared that Confused. up at all. I am. Uh, Martin, James, great to talk to you. Don't forget, Football Focus will be back at uh, 10 past 12 on BBC One this Saturday. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.